Welcome to Gallagher's Grub. Today I am once again outside of Boston, Massachusetts with Sean Duggan, moderator of the Weber Q Facebook group. If you have questions about Weber Qs, this is the guy to ask. Join Facebook, join the Weber Q group, ask this guy any questions you have about Weber Qs. He buys them, he refurbishes them, and he sells them. Last year when I was here, you had about 40 Weber Qs. How many you got this year? It's still probably around 40. A lot of Facebook Marketplace, uh, anywhere from free to about $50 a piece. Uh, very much different here in the United States where outside the States they go for two or $300, even the used ones. And a lot of times now my friends know that I'm so into this that they'll actually send me links to grills. Oh, really? And say like, hey, I saw one of those things that you like and here you go, so I have, uh, friends help me out too. So today we're going to make a series of videos uh, about all things Weber Q. We're going to install a thermometer into the lid of a Q1000. We're going to install a new ignition in one of the grills and we're probably going to paint these up, make them look real pretty. So stick around and uh, yeah, let's talk Weber Qs. All right, in this video, we are going to install a new ignition on this Weber Q2200, and we'll show you how to do that if your ignition is not working. Just twist out, and you pull it out like that. There's a AAA battery in there. You pull this one out, try a fresh new battery. What you'll do sometimes is you'll see cobwebs in there or dirt. Just kind of wipe that out. Put the fresh battery in, put it back in, give it a twist, still nothing. So now we can assume that the igniter is no longer functioning, we can swap that one out for a brand new one. Okay, your first step is going to be to turn this igniter button, pull that out. Come around this back side. And there may be a clip in here that you can press just to turn this a little bit. There we go. There it is. And that whole unit will pop out. You see that there's wires attached to the back here and also to the back of your igniter that goes to the inside of the grill here. Okay, so you need to remove your burner tube. A lot of times there is just uh, you need a flathead screwdriver to remove this here. Loosen that up. The burner tube, there's no other screws that, that attach it to the other side. Just kind of pull it straight out. And this piece here should just come right out. There are a couple of wires that are attached to that. Pull that out on that end. So these black and white wires that go into this back unit here, these pop out and it will allow you to take out the rest of the igniter. This is what a new ignition looks like for the Q1200, Q2200. It comes in three parts and they even throw in a free battery. This ran me $41.99 on Amazon. Okay, so you take this part here, it's gonna go in the back, you line it up with these little pegs where the holes are, push that in, and then it spins. It should lock in for you. Next, you take this piece here, putting this flat part on the bottom, you're going to feed these white and black wires through. And when you do that, these holes will line up so that you can place your screw back in so you can secure the burner tube. Okay, so you'll have a white wire. You connect that underneath here. Press that in all the way so it's secure. Same thing with the black wire. Once those two are secure, come back around with the igniter button. 
slide your igniter button in, give it a turn to the right, and when you press this, you should hear it sparking. You can hear that spark. Okay, so you'll take your burner tube first, put your burner tube in here. Again, there's no screws, it just slides right on there, and this slides down. So you line up the hole of your burner tube with the hole in your igniter, put that screw back in, tighten that up. So once that's in, you press this button, you'll actually see the white spark coming from the igniter there. And you fire this up, and you see that this thing fired right back up. So that is how easy it is to install a new ignition in a Weber Q. It's one of the most common issues people have with their Weber Qs, especially as they get a little older. Yeah, if your igniter isn't working, first, check the battery. Second, check the wires to make sure that the wires are pushed in, especially if you have uh, windy conditions or if you're traveling with it, things can get jostled around. Uh, lastly, a lot of times Weber will warranty these electric igniters for the life of your grill. So if you've registered your grill on Weber.com, you can file a warranty claim. They may replace it for free. If you don't have it replaced for free, it's about a $30 part for the new electric igniters. I think this video is super helpful and it's going to really uh, you know, help a lot of people, a lot of Weber Q owners who have these faulty or uh, you know, old ignitions that don't work anymore. Yep. So if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos come out. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And of course, keep, keep on, on grilling. grilling. First, we're going to see if it's the battery. And then if it's not the battery, which I don't think it is because I changed the battery. <laughs>